Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we're going to be talking about Summoner's Choice. And I know, I know some of you are quite skeptical after the Gladiator. Uh, and uh, well, what are the odds of them releasing an absolute dud twice in a row, right? Either way, we have eight champions to choose from. And uh, in my mind, you know, the real, the right, the correct pick is quite clear, but we're going to go through all of them, uh, discuss them a little bit, and uh, then I'm going to reveal who I'm going to vote for, and then I'm going to be making a separate video in the next couple of days campaigning for this champion. First, I must say, and this is again me not trying to be quote unquote negative, I don't particularly like these year's Summoner Choice Champions. I think it is one of the weaker selections uh, that we have had. So if we take a look at the previous ones, uh, then I think every other year before that, there were at least a handful of champions that I kind of knew and was excited and did really want to have added to the game. Uh, pretty much every single year up until this one. And this one, I knew none of the champions myself like i'm not the biggest comic book but still i knew none of these guys uh when it was pointed out to me you know some of them i had seen like shriek kind of recognized her from carnage too um wiper was the lady hinder she was in wolverine's second movie i believe and blob was in the first one but these definitely are not the characters that i you know necessarily desired to be added to the contest myself um but a choice has to be made right so uh we are gonna make that and we're gonna start with chakra now chakra is uh probably gonna be a cosmic champion uh she's uh kind of like an elder goddess type of thing where she has some spider powers and she has wasp powers and uh, she does kind of weird things. She's an evil. All of these are villains. That's said to be the theme. She has superhuman strength, speed, stamina, durability, agility, reflexes, enhanced healing factor, sense of smell, immortality. She can fly. She can shape shift to a degree, I suppose, but she can disguise her as an, herself as a normal person. Uh, she has some teleportation as well, claws and stingers, and wasp totem, uh, wasp totem creation, where she basically can conjure wasps as well. So ultimately, again, another one of those champions that uh, I do know quite little about. Um, she's kind of all right, I guess. Uh, as for addition to the game, she could have something. I'll be honest. Uh, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of this selection. Uh, here is how she originally looked, but then she kind of went cuckoo and became evil. And then she looked like we saw in the top picture. Um, so if this is the champion for you, uh, then you know, let me know in the comments why you will end up supporting that champion. Maybe you can change my mind and you know that could change who I campaign for as well. Now, Janice Jones, uh, that is the Beatle. The thing about Janice Jones, we hardly have any proper description, but we do have a better description of the original Beatle. And uh, he effectively, uh, or she, is a you know high tech criminal mastermind empire kind of like a evil uh evil techie character so again beetle likely would be tech and i don't i don't know much what what else much to say about the character other than i don't know why would you uh, i have heard some people like her again if you do want to enlighten me in the deep dives of the beetle lore uh then fair enough but uh i just don't think it's something that i'm particularly excited to get added to the contest now blob on the other hand does sound incredibly cool you'd be a mutant and mutant class needs help so that is also one of the best arguments for it because um mutant class does need help and think about all the memes think about all the euphemisms where you're gonna blob all over somebody in valgrounds for instance or you know he got blobbed man that name alone adds a lot of value and uh you know kingpin needs a buddy let's face it we don't have too many plus size superheroes in the contest and i think that is the highest form of discrimination we need more you know 
plus size representation. And I think Blob is the perfect place where to start. So uh, Blob is effectively working with gravitational increase where he can make himself immovable. He creates a massive, massive force of gravity under his feet. And uh, he does what you would expect Blob to do. He's extremely durable. He has superhuman strength. He also can apparently cause uh, explosions. He's immune to pain. He can trap anything that hits him and kind of make them stuck. He can redirect projectiles shot at him, him, limited shape alteration where he can change size of his like limbs and stuff. And then he also underwent a secondary mutation where he developed a liquid form. So let's face it, this sounds absolutely perfect for the game. It sounds awesome and it will be funny as hell. And as I said before, I do not have any emotional attachment to any of these heroes. A week ago, I somebody asked me about them I, I would just shrug my shoulders so with that in mind thinking clearly and objectively just on the face value of these champions themselves i think blob is by far the best choice to go for uh because the mutant mutants need help he has a super funny name that can be used and abused and three i do think he would fit right in the contest with his abilities and he could be very kind of like cheesy crazy fun annoying character to fight potentially but also offensively uh so yeah uh what blob i'm definitely going blob uh unless somebody changed my mind but let's carry on so we have shriek we have seen shriek uh in the carnage uh 2 movie and basically she does have sonic beams she also apparently has dark empathy she can bring the light dark uh light the dark side in people during maximum carnage she used this power to cause the city to go mad causing for example a woman who would like to kill her children a man rape. okay so she can uh, corrupt people and she can scream uh she can induce fear hatred and despair also she's capable of uh psionically levitating objects and people so kind of cool champion also would be a mutant just not anywhere near as cool as the blob is let's face it blob is way more stylish way better looking and deserves to be added to the contest way more but that's shriek right let's move on so we have wiper and also madame hydra basically and she's just uh super evil <laughs> right so she's uh works with poisons and toxicity so she interestingly enough she would be kind of like a skilled poison character more than likely so that's a decent choice um possibly would be she would be my third pick if i'm honest because second picks for somebody else because uh wiper is a brilliant and cunning criminal strategist who has been rigorously trained in warriors martial arts she's also a skilled martial woman expert uh in the use of bullwhip wiper is highly skilled in management of criminal organizations and very well connected in in the international criminal underworld she's also a master of stealth and espionage she's basically like an evil nick fury kind of uh perhaps her greatest strengths are her influence financial resources at her disposal due to her stature and organized organized crime and uncanny luck there you go wiper is extremely knowledgeable in the properties and use of toxins poisons snake venoms frequently creating her own poisons as she spreads through the hollow fangs or poisoned lipstick there you go that's wiper so kind of decent i would like the idea of a skill character that's dishing out poison we don't have enough poison characters in the game now one champion i'm absolutely one million percent not voting i'm never voting for any of the spider-man in any of the polls ever because we have enough most of them suck og spidey even after rework is underwhelming we still have symbiote spidey that needs work on uh and many others i, I just think we're kind of spidered out at the moment but uh, Black Tarantula, he's kind of like an evil criminal mastermind yet again with spider powers, so superhuman strength, superhuman stamina, superhuman durability, agility, superhuman speed, optic blast. His eyes can project powerful concussive blast energy, but requires several minutes between uses. Regenerative healing factor, enhanced sight, possible immortality. Eh, there's no way they're going to release another powerful immortal quote unquote champion out of Hercules. Master Planet because this is a brilliant criminal mind and master martial artist eh, you know i don't know I, I think we're all spider doubt that that that's what i genuinely think but that's who he is 
And last but not least would be my second pick, to be honest, because I do think this would be like the wackiest champion to add to the game in terms of like animations and stuff. That's Ruby Thursday or Thursday Th Thursday Rubinstein. Right, and her entire shtick is basically her weird head. It's made from some weird mass and she can do crazy things with it. Like uh, she can extrude up to eight tentacles from her head. Each whip can elongate and constrict an opponent. She can form blunt edged weapons. Uh, she, she basically kind of has a symbiote head. It has nothing to do with symbiotes. It's kind of like uh, organic circularity matter that's kind of like plasticky type, but effectively you can kind of imagine what we have seen of symbiote movies only her head though. Shape shifting, she can also form other shapes and certain other colors with her head. With concentration, she can disguise herself as a normal red haired woman. Regeneration, uh, ejection head reflex, she can separate her head from her neck. In this condition, she can control both her head and body, albeit in lesser capacity. Her head can fly fast enough to dodge some attacks. I mean, that would be cool. Her head like whipping opponents and then she just kind of like smashing her head into somebody in a special attack or something. I think that would be quite cool. And energy blast, she can fire blasts of pure force from her head in contact with an individual. The head can generate amazing intense energy of almost any type. Energy explosion. And also she's a super genius. Uh, all of these guys are baddies, just so we know. And uh, yeah. Uh, that the, she would be my second pick if not for Blob existed. Again, just looking at which champ, I have no idea which class she would be though. Uh, Mystic tech? I don't know. Does it count as tech? It has something to do with other dimensions, so maybe I don't know. Uh, right. So here we are. Those are the options. I I I still think the obvious choice is the Blob here, and. Um, I will be making more detailed video on exactly why Blob is the go-to option for all of this. And uh, I think many of you will agree. Let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you soon. Bye-bye. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about